Hello. Hopefully you can see me. Um, I'm making just a quick video of my pipe tobacco. There we go. So this is my tobacco shelf. Um, also here are my tobacco pipes. Everything's kind of a mess. I also have my Peterson that's kind of taken apart. Um, <clears throat> but so we'll do a quick little tour here. I'm going to do aromatics first. I have some Strauss tobacco in a Sleepy Hollow. I really like this. Um, it has like a pumpkin flavor, which sounds like super gross in a way, but it's actually pretty good. Uh, so this is probably one of my new favorite um, blends because I typically smoke English mixtures, as I've said in other videos. But here's Strauss Tobacconist Art Alt Park. Um, another pretty good blend. Although I smoked it the other day and I really didn't taste any sweetness. It might be uh, going bad or something, but this is the very first pipe I ever got. And it's broken now. It's like $8. Here's Norwood for Strauss Tobacconist. I think it smells like peaches. Um, and down here, McBaron Plum Cake. You can see. Um, that's pretty good. It's got like a topping on it. Um, it's like a plum topping, but it's, it has a, it's somewhat of a stronger English mixture. There's the queen. She rests in peace. Kentucky Gentleman, uh, flavored with uh, bourbon, I think. Applejack, which is basically just apple-flavored pipe tobacco and strawberry shortcake. I got those for my wife because she wanted to try them, so I don't ever smoke them. But this is, I've never probably had this much pipe tobacco at once, so I got a good bit right now. But here's my three nuns. What I did, I took, I got these jars at TJ Maxx. Um, and then I printed these things off of my printer and just taped them on. So three nuns, uh, Cornell and Dial, uh, Kentucky Dark Fire Cured. Another C&D Bayou Morning. Uh, I bought this at Strauss and I bought it like loose. And I put it in the tub. Here's a Navy Flake. I don't really know who made that. I think C&D did, but not positive. Uh, Seattle Pipe Club Plum Cake or Plum Pudding. Very good. GLP's Quiet Nights. I've not tried that yet, but I want to. Um, and then GLP's Chelsea Morning, which I like pretty well. I probably like it better than Presbyterian Mixture, honestly. I still need to try Peterson's, um, oh, what's it called? Early Morning Pipe. I just haven't yet. I've got a friend that said that it is more mild than Peter or than Presbyterian Mixture, so I've kind of been hesitant. Um Nightcap, love Nightcap, it's delicious. Peterson Standard Mixture, also another great one. Balkan Salsini, um, if you go to, I forgot what it is, it's like a tobacco pipe review place, but Jim Links uh, reviews a lot of pipe tobacco and he writes about it. Um, it has, it's a Balkan, but it has like a soda taste to it in a way, so it's pretty good. Um, Balkan Supreme, not bad, uh, kind of just run-of-the-mill English tobacco, but still decent. And then Cornell and Dial Consolation, probably not even saying it correctly. Looks like all that kind of dried out some, so it's good. Um, I got this the other day and it was a little loose, or not loose, but moist. Um, there's my pipe cleaners, pipe tool, it's a check tool, this is like $3.00. And then my lighter, um, it's my Peterson pipe. These are really good, thanks to uh, dope smokers today. Um, Bic makes this as a pipe lighter. Um, you can basically light a pipe with it compared to like a normal cigarette lighter, so it's kind of nice. Um, here's liquor, here's Jim Beam. Got some Jefferson's 1792. Maker's Mark is a French oak larceny, and I got this the other day at a liquor store. Um, pretty decent. 1792 is very good, to be honest. Uh, I think Jefferson's is my new favorite, though. It has more complexity for the price. So, but this is unique. Alberta Rye Whiskey Dark Batch. Um, it's not the greatest, but it's liquor. 
Uh, there's some stuff for mixers and different things. Um, there's a map of Pensacola Bay in 1885 uh, that I framed and put up in my study. So everything's kind of a mess right now, but um, yep, that is all. Thanks for watching. Just wanted to do a quick little tour of my tobacco and probably do a pipe smoking video later. I tried, um, I don't know if you've seen me or not, but I tried to do a pipe smoking video the other day and then I edited it and I lost a bunch of stuff. So it just didn't work well. So I'm probably just gonna have to roll with how it is for now. So, but anyways, um, thanks for watching. Happy piping. Goodbye.